So going a little bit more deeper into your expertise, you know, um, I was wondering because there's so many different social medias out there. We've got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, of course. And, you know, everybody makes a different choice. But, you know, what makes YouTube so powerful that, you know, people should should definitely go with YouTube and, and build their business strategy around that or yeah, what I love about YouTube, and, and to be fair, I think that social media in general is a massive opportunity. We use the different platforms. I think Instagram's great, Facebook's great, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, all these different platforms. The reason I love YouTube the most, though, is because it's a search engine. In fact, it's the second largest search engine in the world. So especially for business owners and entrepreneurs, every business owner is, has questions related to their business. They have frequently asked questions. So if you're a financial planning company, people are probably wondering, you know, what's the best savings account type or what are my investment options and asking actual questions. Cool thing about YouTube is because it's a search engine, people can type in questions of all kinds about money, about fitness, about health, about real estate. You know, it doesn't matter what the industry or the niche is, but, um, it's a search engine and your videos can show up on the other side of search and therefore you can grow, you can get traffic, you can get discovered potentially even if you don't create new content. Like if you, what we call a ranked video, if you have a, one of your videos showing up on the other side of a question of your target audience, this is true for us. A lot of times our videos that are a year old or two years old or three years old are still getting views. Some of them are getting like five views an hour, which is insane. That's like me. Think about it from a business standpoint. Everybody needs leads, everybody needs sales, so what do you do? You do cold calls. What do you do? You go door to door. And in a way, a YouTube video could actually be like me, Sean, instead of going door to door in all the apartments surrounding me right now, I could, um, I am showing up inside of their house, in fact. They sit down at the computer, they ask some kind of a question, hey, what's the best camera for YouTube? Bing, there I am, I'm at their door. Hey, Sean here, I'm happy to help. And you show up and you answer that question. The reason this is cool is when you do YouTube right, you can create really an army of ranked videos. You could create like this, this little library of ranked videos, videos that show up in search that are building your business on autopilot. The other social media platforms, I kind of call them the social media hamster wheel. Why? Because to succeed on the other platforms, they actually tell you the numbers. There's blogs about it. If you want to do Facebook really well on your fan page, you should be posting like two to four times a day. Twitter five to 10 tweets a day. Instagram, probably three po posts a day, like morning, noon, and night. You know, Pinterest, you wanna be posting all these pins and staying on top of it. All these different platforms. So they're different. They're fine, but the, the content demand, they're almost like a content monster, like the cookie monster. Like, they're just like, feed us, feed us. And a lot of times, if we do a Facebook Live, like right now, um, this Facebook Live probably won't be watched in three weeks. It'll be so pushed down. It'll be whatever, whereas on YouTube, a lot of times an interview, content like this could actually be watched not just three weeks from now, but three months from now and with suggested videos and search. So that's where YouTube has a massive advantage. Easier said than done. You got to put in the work. You got to shoot the videos. You got to optimize them. But YouTube is massive. And there's a few other reasons. I mean, 1.9 billion monthly active users are on YouTube right now with Gmail accounts. That's logged in users. You know, Facebook's 2.2 million, but they've kind of been on a little bit of a recession since the Cambridge Analytica stuff and people's trusts have gone down. They're kind of losing the younger demographic. That's not a doomsday prophecy about Facebook. It's just that Facebook is going through some of its challenges. Instagram's really healthy, a billion users. But YouTube, no question, is the king of video. So if you're serious about business, if you're serious about building your brand, it is irresponsible for you not to be on YouTube, in my opinion. Exactly. Wow, great. Thanks for that. I'm happy I'm on YouTube and now even yeah. more. <laughs> yeah. Are you still meeting up with your friends now that you're a father? Kids making you stress out. You got no time for yourself to work out, read, or relax. Can you still remember the time you were hanging out with your friends, feeling energetic, happy, and confident? Spending time together and talking about your life and your crazy dreams. You're feeling alone now, don't you? No one to share your challenges with and you're just running around from one storm into the next. 
or it's time to change this now. Join me and the Brotherhood of Fearless Fathers to speak on a weekly basis with like-minded dads to crush your challenges, face your fears with determination, be held accountable and regain control of your life. If you want to become the hero your family needs you to be, then go to becomeafearlessfather.com slash brotherhood. Looking forward to seeing you on one of our next calls.